Hello, Casual Dresser here, bringing you a video without a microphone. Uh, my friend borrowed it to try out for a running club, brought me it back and it has no battery. So I'm going to put this video straight out without a microphone, so sorry for the distortion in the air. But I wasn't going to bring a video out um, this weekend, but I've got something that I think is so good, so beautiful, and actually you don't see many of them, that I think actually... It's worth putting a video out. So sit back, relax. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so here it is. Um, I'll try not to speak too loudly, so I hope for my noise doesn't, or my voice doesn't bounce off the walls. But this is uh, part of the Urban Protection Range from CP Company. Uh, and it is a tactical uh, CP solo vest. Um, I'm leaving it in the cardboard so you can see it better, um, but it's part of the urban protection range. So they brought out, so this is a 1999-2000 vest. I think it started, let me check, 1998. Is that right? Yeah, 1998. The first urban protection stuff started coming out. Um, so there were a number of jackets. What they were really designed for was for like, the urban man to wear in a, an environment that they thought was possibly rapidly declining. So, for example, the move jacket had a scooter with it to try and stop you from using your car. That just slotted in the back and hopefully there's pictures coming up here. So that was one example of the move. Uh, the urban protection smog jacket, you'll see with the uh, iconic sort of smog visor at the front for your mouth and they've actually re-released it again because it was so iconic although you can never replace such an iconic jacket um that was there was to try and filter out any uh any of the air that, that was polluted um there was one that had an led uh in the pocket and that looked at the air and the pollution and if it wasn't good enough air it would beep i mean i'm not sure back then how accurate one of those monitors would be but the intention was very clear that it was there to obviously promote uh, a healthy environment. Uh, and another one was ear defenders, so built into the hood and into the hood of the jacket were a set of ear defenders. So as you were going through the city, um, you could wear these ear defenders. Now it was all based, like I say, about the urban man trying to protect the environment and health at all costs. Um, each piece was incredibly made. I mean, incredibly made. That's why they've stood the test of time, uh, to rip them, tear them, uh, damage them was almost impossible. So the jackets themselves have stood the test of time. What hasn't uh, is the accessories, because the accessories have either been sold on separate and all of a sudden the jacket is not with its accessory, or the, or the accessories have been lost. Um, so to find something with all the accessories is incredibly hard. So what I'm gonna do in a minute is, I'm going to show you this 1999-2000 solo uh, vest in all its glory. But first, I'm going to bang a few pictures up of it. Okay, so here is the vest, and each of the items came with this ID card. Now, the ID card is normally lost, but as you can see here, it is the Urban Protection Solo, and it's got its own ID on there. Um, yeah, we've got adjusters at the front, we've got adjusters, Velcro adjusters on the shoulder, front pockets, side pockets, etc etc and again like i said the material is extremely well made it's a nylon material um yeah it's a velvet lined inner to keep you warmer and you're not going to imagine this is so this is 1999 2000 so what we're 25 years old and there's not a mark on this that is how well they're made now on the back you will see a load of ringlets 
the ringlets here are for the most special part of this. Um, and let me show you it now. So what you got alongside it was a 15 inch mag light. So, I mean, to come in its original box, et cetera, et cetera, is nuts. But here is the uh, mag light, which is just an American flashlight. But the cool thing, oh, nearly lost that, didn't I? The cool thing about this is that it is CP branded and fully working. So what a cool piece of kit this is, 15 inch and it weighs a ton. And what you would do then is, with your vest, you would take your vest and you would slide it down the back. As so, I'm not gonna put it into them all. But as you slid it down, down here, that would be a mag light. So you carry that round with you. I mean, it's minimal light, it's running off a battery, no electricity needed. And again, this was the sort of concept behind them. Um, what an absolutely beautiful, beautiful piece of kit. Um, the reason why I'm showing you it is A, because it is so rare to come complete with box, etc. B, it will be up for sale eventually. Um, find a message if you're interested, but it will not be going cheap. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to put it away in my cupboard uh, and keep it as a part of the collection. Um, yeah, what a beautiful item. Um, and that's it, really. It's a short video, but I do think that it needed to be shown before it went on its way, because you might not be at C1 again. If you've got anything like this, anything rare that you want to sell to me, um, just head over to Instagram. Here it is here. Um, and I'll see you again for a buying and selling video very shortly. Take care.